All right, Kevin, thank you so much for spending a couple minutes joining us. How's the summit going for you? Uh, it's been great so far. We're uh, just in day two. Well, I guess this is really day one, but yesterday there's a lot of activities, pre-conference activities as well. So we've been talking to lots of customers, lots of partners. It's been really good so far. In the opening session, there was a lot of amazing technology shown. And one of the things you were talking to me a second ago before we started was how we get stuff from the creative cloud into the marketing cloud. Can, can we start talking there about yeah. how that works? Yeah, well this is obviously a really important topic for us because we have you know, millions of users of these, these creative products like Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, and so on. And so one of the challenges that, that really um, uh, plagues a lot of companies is, look, we've got all this great stuff and we're building stuff and like, we're rapidly creating all this new stuff, um, but we need a, a means to um, connect it more with the people that are responsible for the execution of experiences, people that are doing marketing campaigns and so on. And so, um, traditionally we've seen a lot of silos, like, you know, di very different teams, they're doing their thing, and what we're really trying to do is facilitate a better connection, um, and we know that that's going to be part technology, and, and you know, we've, we've built something to actually address that. Sure. Um, but it's also, cha like, it's it's change management. It's It's how you think about the, the, you know, the culture of these different teams and how they work together and their processes and, and their workflows and really re-examining um, how, we, how we do all of this. And it, I was taking notes uh, prior to coming here and I kind of wrote down a note that putting talk before tech, like getting these teams together and going, yeah. Yeah. we need to be together yeah. and this is how we're going to do yeah. this. Yeah, you know, and so obviously as a, as a, as a technology uh, company and someone who works for a technology company, um, I'm, I'm never going to say tech is not the answer, sure. but tech is part of the, the solution and if you don't sit down and really kind of figure out what you're trying to accomplish and then go, okay, now how can the technology help us with that, um, the, you know, it, it may be difficult to achieve your goals. Uh, just kind of throwing the technology at it uh, from the get-go um, is probably not the best strategy. <laughs> well, because it doesn't matter how big your organization is, these silos show up in Bob's Pizza Joint yeah, and then go all the way up to Pepsi, right? Uh -huh. Well, it's, it's a very good point, you know, and it's, it's, you know, we see this all the time. Like, if you've got, if you've got bad processes and, and uh, you know, and, and these silos, um, when, as you grow, you know, those get amplified. They, they become bigger problems. And so even even stuff like, um, you know, automation and thinking about, oh, well, here's a, here's a really interesting way maybe we can automate this process and make it better. Well, automating a bad process means you just have an automated bad process. So I think it's really important, the point you made about the talk before tech is a really valid one for sure. So Kevin, the big theme this year is clearly around customer experience. Yeah. And you have said yeah. the customer obsessed, yeah. right? Yeah. Why do you think this is such a struggle for businesses? Because many of them, and I mean many, get it wrong. Even yeah. though we will all yeah. go to conferences and we'll hear about making the customer the yeah. hero, yeah. the hero's journey, yeah, the yeah. customer obsessed, but then we don't execute. What do you think it is that's the stumbling block? Yeah, the short answer is it is really hard, right? And so the healthy, great thing that, that we're seeing in Adobe is all over this ourselves, is at least if you get every function in the company sort of marching to the beat of that like customer drum and everyone's saying, yeah, that's the number one focus. So regardless of my role in the organization, customer success is something that we're all committed to and maybe you even you know, tie some aspect of, of reward to, to that as well, again, no matter what the role is. Um, but I think that the challenge, the real challenge is, you know, traditionally we've looked at, okay, there's marketing, and oh, now, now we're gonna close the deal, and now we've gotta do something to sort of welcome this customer and get them familiar with what they just bought. And then there's like, oh, you know, we gotta be able to support them if anything comes up and if they're having issues. And then in the end, we, we want them to keep buying or buy more of it. And those things have been very disjointed historically. We haven't really looked at, at the journey and what that customer life cycle looks like and all of these different points that make up that what should be continuous customer journey. And that is a really hard one for um, companies to get their head around. And part of it does come down to, I think, philosophically and culturally, at least, you know, if you've got that to start, it's a good foundation. Because when we're thinking about a customer, that customer, we can write customer funnels and linear thinking right. all day long. Yeah. They're gonna come in sideways yeah. and backwards yeah. and start at renew, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and it makes it hard for an organization to kind of figure out where that person even it, is. It, it absolutely is. And I'm, I'm actually talking um, on this um, with a partner in a couple of days. And um, you know, we're, we're basically saying this shift to journeys and kind of understanding that 
that yeah that funnel that idea of the funnel um, is is really not serving us well um, and if we can start to orient um, a lot of functions around this idea of journeys multiple journeys because sure. there you know there there will be um, you know we've had customers that have kind of sat down um, you know there's sort of a, a, a famous session that happened here a few years ago Royal Bank of Scotland um, got up on stage and talked about their shift to journeys and their journey manager team um, really really healthy approach that you know everyone really sat up and, and took note of absolutely so Kevin we're in the early part of 2019. What is the thing that you are most optimistic about in this space? I'm, I'm really optimistic that, you know, the whole, the promise around uh, personalization is really starting to like take hold and become become real. And I think that part of that is is we're seeing um, a lot of payoff from it. And I think for most companies, they got to see the proof. They got to sure. see the, pay, the payoff. And even with that, with that customer first philosophy, um, I think everyone wants to see ROI. Everyone wants to see, you know, is it also um, improving conversions and, and, and making us more money? Those things are important KPIs, sure. obviously. And I think that, that, that we are starting to really see some of that uh, pay off. And there's a lot of companies here talking about it at, at, at Summit this week. Uh, so I, I feel very optimistic about that. And one of the reasons is, I think it sort of feels like it, it took us a while as an industry to get to the point where all the different component pieces were mature enough that they could actually start working together. I used to be on the side of the, uh, the, the, um, market, the, the marketing cloud and experience cloud business, focused more on data and, sure. and we always talked about how data needs to be connected. You gotta like, make sense of those various data points and drive insights, connect the dots, and then you can do personalization. Now I think, uh, um, and that's still all very true, but now I'm attacking it from the content perspective and how content is also a big bottleneck when it comes to personalization, mm -hmm. especially when these experiences are taking place in so many different ways. And the idea of building an experience for a particular channel is you know, a, a very old fashioned notion. We need to be thinking about like, what are all your amazing, wonderful assets you have to work with? How do you, you know, take data and really kind of infuse some insights into really what should happen with that content? that results in the kinds of experiences that will you know, resonate with people, whether it's happening on their phone or a large screen in a mall or on their desktop computer. Absolutely, last question I will leave you with. When I was at lunch today, I was sitting with a group of people and a couple of them are new to the summit and sort of new to most of the products. And the question that they were asking is like, I don't, where do I start? Yeah. And so if they say that to you, what would yeah. be your answer? Where do I start? Yeah, it, I think it's a, a really uh, valid question. Um, it, it's got to start with, you know, you've got you've got data today. You've got content today. Um, what does it look like? Where does it live? To what extent are you, um, uh, you know, leveraging it and 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 making good use of it? Um, so there's a lot of you know, kind of housekeeping and kind of understanding, like, you know, what the building materials are sure. that you have to work with, right? And then it's also really understanding what your goals are and, and, and what you're trying to accomplish and come up with realistic goals, things that actually can be accomplished. Um, you know, having some wins along the way, some nice little milestones is very rewarding, but it's also uh, necessary, I think, to sort of understand um, your, your strengths and weaknesses and, and your wins, your, you know, failures, um, and, and just be willing to experiment. Um, that would be kind of my, my main piece of advice. Awesome. Kevin Lindsay, thank you so much. My pleasure. Have a great summit. Thank you. You too.